All right, hello everybody. It is Yellowfin and we are here for part two of the Slammed Enough Daytona event. The event I didn't even know that was happening until I got to Daytona on my vacation and realized it was. Very clean GTR here with the lights all around it. Another nice JDM car. I saw one earlier and I still don't know what it is. Um, got a nice Nissan Z right here. Saw that one rolling in before. It definitely caught my eye. And we got a Chevy Bel Air, I believe. Full patina, sort of stainless steel mixture of everything. Rat rod kind of build. Slam those well on some very nice fat tires too. Then this just, uh, it's just a lot on this Infiniti. That's crazy. Five spokes. But then just look at that engine bay. Like, they're not, oh, geez, I call it Infiniti. It's a Lexus. <laughs> I saw the side and I'm like, oh, yeah, it's another Infiniti. Nope, it's a Lexus. You got too much. It's hard to commentate and then memorize the car and then look at it. But yeah, here we got another Lexus. This one is a Lexus. Yep. Made sure of that. Ain't going to get it wrong twice. Only once. Nissan Z Nismo right here. Very nice. But we're not on that section yet. We got a Toyota Century right here. VIP build. Very clean. Dropped to the ground as usual. That's a common theme here. Pretty sure you guys know why. Acura NSX. Very nice. Wide body. Slam. I guess you could call those 10 spokes, but they're basically five spokes. And of course, slam to the ground. Gotta move past the shops and then we'll work our way down this strip back and look at some more interesting stuff. We do have something interesting on the right up here though. Something a bit more different. It's a dropped BMW. Dropped all the way to the ground. Very, very clean. Yeah, M2. That's actually really nice, especially the pink wrap on it as well. Over here is then also one of the nicest builds in my opinion here. Probably one of my favorites. I wouldn't say the nicest. It, I mean, it is really nice. I'm not going to discredit that, but one of my favorite builds. That's what the word I was looking for here. Stanced, slammed Mercedes SUV. Might just be because my bias of owning an SUV and I just really like to see the modified SUVs. This is just super clean, especially with the fat rims on it and everything like that. So that's super clean. Then over here, bagged Stang. We'll show the air suspension in the back. They got the trunk open, so we kind of got to look at it. Yep, there we go. Nice air suspension kit. Tail lights are cool on the Stang too. And a nice diffuser as well. Just lots of very nice rides. White bucket seats too. That's risky. Can't have anyone eating in that ride. Another BRZ FRS 8.6. Right there, slammed, a lot of those. Got another BMW, well I guess the other one was a BMW 2, but this is an M3. Looks like the one I made a Need for Speed Payback, honestly. That's super clean. I do like that with the gold color. And over here, another one of those Hondas. Seen quite a couple of those. Then here is a Ford Fiesta, or maybe it's a Focus. I don't know the difference between the two. I probably should learn that, but on air suspension as well. It's got the full setup in the back. It is an ST, do know that, but very nice carbon, full build. That's really sweet. Big old subs in the back of this ride. Pretty clean as well. Then we got Acura over here. Dropped, of course, Acura CSX. We got the Twisted T Mini right over here. We got to do a bit of maneuvering. Had to cut it up through the traffic. Nissan, We, well, I guess we saw that one earlier. That's the Nismo, but then this one definitely stands out. Datsun 260Z, mural on the inside with the pop-up hood. Just the engine, that's all it's got in there. Wide body, super clean. That's actually insanely nice. Got a little Audi right here as well, some Audi action. It's been a few of those, I believe, here. Very nice though with that green color. Another Nissan Z right here. Carbon fiber hood with the LED lights. Well, I guess all, most cars have LED, but with the custom LED colorful lights. Another Ford right there, Ford hatch. That's what I'll call it. I can't tell the difference between the two, so I'll call it a Ford hatchback. Mustang 5.0 and another one in pink. 
And then we've got a Bimmer over here as well. Very nice. Another Bimmer, newer one, another pink BMW as well. Got the pink BMW representation over here. Pretty sweet. And then we got a gray one. But then we're also coming up on a, well, there's a key truck, but then also something very interesting, something as well. Another standout that I haven't seen before, a slammed big rim Chevy Silverado. Dropped all the way to the ground. Yep, just tore into the tailgate to get it to look like that, but that's super clean, honestly. Especially to do it in such a new and with how expensive trucks are right now, like that's hella respectable. Like you gotta respect it. Even if you don't like it, you just gotta respect it for being able to do that to such a already nice truck. Yeah, lots of other, lots of the thin, like six spoke rims, but it, it works. It works on like every car. We've seen it, an example of it on pretty much every car here. Like there's another thin six spokes. There's some more on this car right here. Yep, lots of Hondas. And then we got another chassis mount wing. Uh, I guess that one's a, that's a WRX, but a chassis mount wing on the Nissan Z. It's pretty clean. We got another Infinity right here, G37. A lot of those, but this one's real nice. Carbon fiber splitter, tow strip full carbon in the engine. That's a real nice looking engine bay as well in it. Super clean. Then over here, we've got another one. Yep. This one's actually a Genesis. Hyundai Genesis. Pretty tough. I haven't seen any Kias here though. There are no Kias here. Kia boys gotta stop getting their car stolen so they can slide to the meets like these. Another Infinity too. And here we got a slammed Another BRZ FRS 86. This one's a BRZ. Their Instagram says on the side, so this one's a BRZ. Then we got a Subi Underglow. And then right next to the music, so we'll speed through it. Subi with the Underglow, GR Supra, VIP build, JDM car, Infinity with the Underglow, and then another Ford hatchback. This one, though, is pretty tough. We actually gotta stay by this for a sec. Full bolt ons everywhere. And then in the back, Crazy air suspension setup. Looks like a freaking gaming PC behind the car. And then look at that exhaust too. Got the freaking macaroni noodle exhaust. Uh, this is just crazy. Super tough. That battery in there is working overtime for all those lights too. We got more bags over here. Yep, very nice. Lots of nice bags definitely seems to be the way to go if you want your car to stay in tip-top shape because there was lots of cars rolling around outside definitely could tell they were static they were scraping everything but don't see any of them in here then <laughs> they did not make it into the show another brz frs platform this one subi see they got the logo on it you can tell which one that is of the variety here we go newer bmw with the pig nose but super nice too. Carbon canards, front splitter, carbon engine, VIP build. Very tough as usual. And here's a little something different from the five spoke rims. We got the 182 spoke rims on the 5.0 Mustang. That's very nice. Very, very nice. Over here, more bags. Yep, more bags in the back with the wood flooring and the roof box on top. I do like that. The wood flooring is pretty tough on it on the VW. Then over here, got the interesting hood for this on this Toyota Rolla. Pretty clean, Nissan Z in pink wrap. Then we got another one of these Pandem BRZs. Oh, no, Toyota 8.6. I called the other one a BRZ too, and that Pandem was also an 8.6, but very nice either way. And over here we got Slam Miata and another Bimmer. Quite a lot of Bimmers too over in this video. There wasn't that many in the other one, but quite a few in this one. Another Miata over here. This one's an NB Miata. So we do have a bit of variety with the Miatas actually. We've, or actually that one was as well, not an NA. Two NBs and then an NA Miata right here. Cause you gotta have a bunch of those. Nissan Z and then another 
of these. I'm just gonna start calling them all eight sixes. It's a BRZ, dang it. Okay, I'm just gonna call them all BRZs. That's gonna be the plan. All right, now time for this row right here. Nissan Z. And we got uh, another Hyundai, actually. More Korean representation. No Kias yet, but we got another Hyundai. So that's pretty tough. And then we got slammed Civic as well. So there's definitely a lot of those. But they're all just very nice builds. They're all just so clean and honestly pretty different from each other too. Like here's another one right here. They're all dropped low, but then they all got their differences. Oh wait, we got a Kia. Here we go, Kia K5 VIP build. It's got all the works on the interior. Yep, one made it to the meet. That's actually real nice too. Super clean. I have not seen, I've seen the ones with the crazy engines and stuff of the Kia Stingers and stuff like that, but haven't seen a dropped one like that. That's real nice. Another Infinity G, got another Infinity right here. Yep, real nice. Z, and then the Fast and Furious kid's favorite car, Supra Mark IV. That's actually pretty clean though. That's a real nice Supra. I do like that. It keeps kind of the stock look to it. I do like that. I don't really like the over-the-top Supras. This is pretty much perfect. Perfect way to just keep it nice, clean, and modified without doing too much. Because honestly, you don't really need to do too much to the Supra to change it. Like, I'd take a stock Supra over some crazy modified one. That one did it perfect. This guy's got the truck lights on the Toyota rims. For the rim lights, I guess. Not the truck, but I only see them on trucks. You've got crazy engine on this thing. Lots of beeps by it. On that Nissan Z, Nismo. A lot of people buy that one. I'm not gonna stop my way through. Here's another one. I'm calling it a Super BRZ. And then over here, Lexus. Yep, didn't screw it up this time. Accidentally called a Lexus and Infinity. Whoops. But here's another Lexus, another F Sport, and then a another Lexus right here. And then, yeah. That's about it, but we got one more ride too. Got this crazy subs in the back and there's Infinity. We decided to end the video right next to the speakers, but there's a Slam Supra over here too. Yeah, we'll wander over here to do the outro. So that'll be it for part two. We got one more part, I think, and then that'll be the conclusion of this meet. So if you want to see the final part, hit the subscribe button, like the video. I'm Elephant, thanks for watching and goodbye.